not, the foundations for photography were laid as early as 500 BC in China. However, photography really didn't start taking off until the early 1500s. As time went on, more people became passionate and curious about the new form of art and expression, which is photography. Word spread and popularity increased as famous philosophers and intellectuals discovered progressive ways to preserve history and communicate millions of stories about people, places, and significant events. During the 1700s, camera obscura was used by famous artists like Leonardo da Vinci and even astronomers like Johannes Kepler. A camera obscura is a darkened room with a small hole on one side of a wall. The light enters through the lens and projects an upside down image of the object outside the box. The image is then projected on the wall opposite the hole. This way of photography was mainly used for landscape paintings, but it was also used to study stars and planets. The most popular photographs were of gatherings and nature because they were sought to be drawn from imagination rather than realism. This was because the camera obscura had a flaw. As it was successful in reflecting an image, the images weren't particularly stark nor were they long lasting. During these times, photography was seen as much of a science as it was art. The 1800s was the starting point of all the photography and photos, including the photos captured on modern day phones. During the early 1800s, camera obscura was still a potent tool in photography, but it was improved with a plate coated with chemicals. French inventor Joseph Niepce came up with this technique, however, it took 8 hours to process only for it to fade away. In 1839, Louis de Guerre was finally able to accomplish what many failed to. He brought the processing time down to 30 minutes by projecting an image onto a sheet of copper that was plated with silver. This method was called the de Guerre type and became increasingly popular over the decades. It revolutionized the art industry. Photography in the 20th century started to rapidly expand as technology, music, art, lifestyle, and social trends commenced and created what is now known as the birth of the American century. Everyone has heard of the Roaring Twenties, the Progressive Era to New Era, and the Great Depression. Photography has been at the forefront of capturing some of the most significant moments in history. During the early 1900s, Eastman Kodak, an American company, introduced a camera called the Brownie, a classic camera box. Photography was still very much a complicated, intricate process that was only branded to the upper-class system of society, until the brownie. It was marketed for $1 and Kodak sold 100,000 brownies in the first year alone. In the early 1960s, soon after the invention of Polaroid instant color film, color photography brought a whole new depth to art and allowed artists to rediscover photojournalism by inventing their personal style and showing their personality and individuality. The photos taken during the most revolutionary times in American history soon become a vital part of documenting the world. Famous artists like Alexander Wachenko, Albert Witzel, Steffi Brandel, and Ruth Harris Louise thrived during the Roaring Twenties. Then artists such as Dorothy Lang, Walker Evans, Russell Lee, Roy Stryker, and many more arose during the Great Depression. These photos are a reminder of everything history was and hope for what the future could be. With the development of cameras and phones, photography became more reachable and attainable to common people. Current popular brands are Canon, GoPro, Panasonic, Sony, etc. The photos taken on these cameras are used for a wide variety of things like capturing nature, landscapes, portraits, events, slash gatherings, and a compilation of everything photographed in history. However, with current day trends, the vintage aesthetics that come with old time photography are becoming trendier by the day. People have started using reusable cameras and film cameras to attain the classic 90s appeal to photos. Time and again, photography has proven to entail thousands of stories through images. It connects people to places and memories, reminds us of our origins, history, and progressive growth of human curiosity.